this thing stinks. How long they gonna? Let me tell y'all. That first spray, I said, mm, no. Hi guys, it's Taylor and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you know whenever I upload. You guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing some of my most recent purchases for perfumes from Amazon. I've literally been scrolling through Amazon for like the past couple of weeks, just adding perfumes to my cart, taking them out based on reviews, adding them back. So I finally narrowed it down to ordering a couple of them just for me to like try out test and share them with you guys if i like them okay so i ended up ordering three perfumes and then one rollerball oil type of thing it's the same scent as one of the actual perfumes but i wanted to try it out in the rollerball as well because i saw some great reviews on it all of these perfumes will be linked down below in my amazon storefront so if you want to check them out or purchase them the link will be down below right, so the first perfume that i have here is called soft by al rehab this is an arabic perfume but like y'all <laughs> Do y'all see the packaging? Like, why is this crooked? I opened up the box and I said, we, we already started off on the wrong foot. It's 35 milliliters or 1.15 fluid ounces. So it's definitely a decently sized bottle. And for $10, you really can't complain or beat that price. This is a perfume that's categorized as unisex. So it's for both men and women. And it's categorized on Fragrantica as a cozy, fresh scent that has hints of citrus in it. So we're going to take my little tester cards out and I'm going to give y'all my impressions on this scent. Now, mind you, all of these scents that I've gotten I've already smelled them when they first came but I'm still gonna give y'all my impressions on these anyway because I got some things to say about it now this scent I don't really know how I feel about it still it smells very cheap and it also kind of smells like old lady perfume just just a little tad just a little tad it really is very citrusy and soapy but I also do smell some vanilla in there that kind of makes it a little bit sweet but Overall, I don't really know how I feel about this scent, but even though it was only $10, I can't really be too mad about it. I mentioned some of the notes, but from Fragrantica, some of the notes says it's a citrusy, which like I said, it has notes of caramel, vanilla, white musk, orchid, jasmine, some woody notes, and Vevateer in it. I don't, I don't know if I smell any woody or musky type of notes in here, but I do get a lot of the citrus mixed with the vanilla. Maybe a hint of floral, but it's very, very citrusy. Next perfume I have here is the infamous Choco Musk. I ended up paying $12.49 for this one, so another affordable perfume under $20, even under $50. And if y'all can see, I have been using this one up already. I had to slow down on using it because I felt like I would have ended up almost finishing this bottle if not been done this bottle before I found this video. So I absolutely love this scent. This is a chocolatey warm gourmand scent. So if you are a gourmand lover, you will really, really like this scent. It smells so good that I ended up picking it up in the perfume oil. Now I don't really know how I feel about the perfume oil just because the rollerball on it is not the best in my opinion like I have to roll it a couple of times for some fragrance to even come out and I don't find that it's super super potent or even as potent as the perfume but I have still been using it and testing it out because I do want to still give it a little bit of chance or a couple more tries before I like fully make a decision on it but the roller ball on this is not my favorite however I have nothing but great things to say about this perfume some of the notes that are listed in this perfume are vanilla milk chocolate cinnamon amber sandalwood it's such a warm and spicy gourmand fragrance this definitely pairs well with a vanilla fragrance I'm using this a lot with my eos vanilla lotion as well as my vanilla confetti sparkle body mist from bath and body works layers so so well with any vanilla based or chocolate based perfumes because it has those notes in there it's definitely going to amplify it i will be definitely repurchasing this and getting a backup of this because i know i am going to run out of this so so soon i mean like look it's already a quarter of the way gone or even a little over a quarter of the way gone so this is definitely a favorite of mine and for 12 dollars, this is an amazing cheap perfume that has some lasting power and it smells so so good y'all oh my goodness say initially once you do spray this fragrance it gives off like a heavy alcohol based content type of smell but once it actually settles in and the alcohol scent disappears it smells super chocolatey super gourmand just smells so good like a chocolate cake 
oh my goodness i freaking love this scent and the last perfume that i ended up picking up from amazon was miss yara by latafa this has been such a super talked about perfume for months i feel like every like this just randomly blew up one day and i saw this all over instagram all over the fragrance facebook groups that i'm in and everybody was like you have to get your hands on it yara 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 and it was just sold out for so long but i finally was able to purchase it from amazon i ended up paying 28.99 for this so not a bad price at all I read a little bit of the notes from fragrance it says that the top notes are heliotrope orchid and tangerine the middle notes are gourmand accord and tropical fruits and the base notes are vanilla musk and sandalwood now y'all when i initially sprayed this perfume i was like mm, no and let me tell you why actually i'm gonna spray it again so that i can get that kind of fragrance memory back that i got when i sprayed it initially because i was like girl absolutely not i'm going to return this that's how i felt when i sprayed this initially because i just did not like it it just stank to me it smelled like old people or lady perfume i was like uh-uh because a lot of people have been saying this smells really nice and gourmand like strawberries this pairs very well with strawberry pound cake from bath and body works but i was like i don't know what anybody is seeing in this perfume because it definitely don't smell gourmand it definitely don't smell like strawberries this this thing stink when i initially spray it like i said it kind of it's very off-putting at least to me personally it just smells very old lady-ish it gives off an old lady vibe like it's a very mature scent for an older woman that's how i feel when i first spray this perfume but after letting it sit for a couple minutes i want to say like five to ten minutes then it definitely did start smelling a little bit sweeter like vanilla the strawberries that everyone has been talking about it's very sweet gourmand ish so i will say i'm i do kind of like this perfume i'm gonna give it a couple more tries a couple more tests it's just the initial spray is so off-putting that i was like <clears throat> no i don't like it but after it dries down and it settles into my skin and it just settles overall it smells really really nice this is definitely a nice gourmand fragrance as well and i do actually agree that this will pair very well with strawberry pound cake from bath and body works and i even also think that this would pair very well with burberry her because i did spray both of these on a perfume tester card and i smelled them after letting them sit for a little bit and it smelled very good together but let me tell y'all that first spray i said mm no all right you guys so those are all of the perfumes that i picked up from amazon this go round. i might actually end up doing a part two because there are still a couple of perfumes on there that i do want to get my hands on and try out so if you guys want a part two to this video definitely let me know in the comments down below because i will do that for you guys i honestly am going to pretty much keep all of the fragrances except for that soft fragrance i just don't really think i'm gonna like it as much like i said before it kind of smells very cheap and off-putting to me and i just don't think it's gonna really smell well on my skin or even if it does smell well i just don't like the scent so i'm probably gonna end up either returning that or giving that one away but the choco must she's staying miss yara she's staying said if you guys are interested in the perfumes i am going to have them linked down below from my amazon storefront for you guys to check out there and i'm definitely going to link the yara one down below that was 28 dollars versus the other one that's on amazon for like 40 dollars. if y'all want to save a couple bucks go get that one that's all i have for today if you guys really liked and enjoyed this video please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and commenting down below thank you all so much for watching and i will see you all in my next video bye guys